Donovan mask. Hello everybody, Steffi here from The Makers. You're here today to join me to make a jellyfish. Jellyfish? I love these jellyfish. Um, I love that I didn't know there were blue ones until I needed to find a project to make from the surprise box. And hey ho, blue jellyfish. Who's ever seen one? I'm not sure I have, but it's uh, everything that you um, need to make this jellyfish is part of our surprise box in June 2023. Now we're discontinuing the uh, surprise box, but I will mention all the products that are in there. So if you haven't got the box, you can make one too using your own stash. And of course, you can still get your surprise box all the way up until the end of June. So I'm going to just quickly see who's in the house today and, um, and then we make a start. Let's have a look. Right. Um, oh, who have we got? We've got Carol. Hi, Carol. Hello, Colette. Dawn is here. Um, Ulla. Hello, Ulla. Elaine. Ellie. Um, Sherry. And um, a few people are watching, a few people are haven't arrived quite yet. So we give it a minute, um, but um, who's seen a blue jellyfish? That's what I want to say. Oh, we've got Sherry from Tennessee. Hello. Um, and lots and lots um, of people that are usually here. Let's see if we've got some new people coming. Maureen is here. Um, what's Maureen saying? I think Maureen, was it you who said you definitely didn't want to watch, um, um, miss this live stream? Um, oh, she's actually seen a jellyfish and been stung by one. I've got a, I've got a story of a, a jellyfish stinging as well. So, um, I'm sorry, I'm reading. I can't talk and read at the same time. Heather is here. Oh yes, Heather, it was you who didn't want to miss it, didn't you? Okay, so let's have a look. And um, hi, Susan. Alison, Fiona, oh, so many of you. Terry, hi, Terry. Terry is also from the States. Um, numbers are going up, so um, let's make a start. Oh, hang on a second. Something's happening here. Oh, hello. Oh, we have a visitor. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. <laughs> Who is this? This is River. Have you met River yet? No. River, say hello. River, say hello. Look at the camera. Okay, I have to train her a little bit more. Ah, look, there she is. Look at her pink belly. Oh, you're such a cutie. Yes, what is here to eat? Oh, lots of things. I won't let her lose. She's got to cause absolute havoc. Look at that little face. Isn't she lovely? Everybody loves the puppy. Oh, she <laughs> yes, get me out of here. I've had enough. Right, that was um, just a quick... Um, introduction to the big surprise that also awaited me when I came back from the uh, BBC Gardener's World. So um, I will tell you more about this. Thank you very much, River. <laughs> um, this is actually my daughter's dog and um, she, um, well, she kind of lives with us and she lives everywhere, really. She lives all over the place, but she's decided to get a puppy. Didn't tell us about it at all. And um, um, I well, I just basically came home on Sunday night and there was this puppy. Uh, um, so let's see what uh, your responses are to this. Um, love the puppy, Rose says. Oh, beautiful girl, River. Oh my God, River is beautiful, says Melissa. Hello, River. What a beauty. Oh, she's so sweet. Oh, um, be my my beating heart. Oh, yes. So anyway, I thought you might like to see River because... Um, she's definitely captured our hearts um, in a storm all of our hearts she's not here all the time because it's my daughter's dog and she's actually looking after her which is um, which is really good because I don't have to get up in the night I don't have to um, clear any mess I don't even have to buy her dog food I don't have to pay for her vaccinations and vet bills um, I don't have to plan my life around a puppy it's my daughter's dog that's the way to do it. Get the puppy cuddles, but have no responsibility whatsoever. Loving it. Anyway, let's get back to the um, um, uh, jellyfish. That's why we're here. And let's have a look at this amazing, uh, wonderful fiber overload that you're getting this month in the June surprise box. Remember, you can buy this box just as a one-off if you love what you're seeing. You get a full bundle of our extra strong pipe cleaners. I think there's 12 in there. I will just count. Two, four, 
6, 8, 10, 12, that's it. You get these amazing curls which make the, the tentacles of the um, jellyfish and these are hand dyed tea water curls. So um, one portion of this, I've used a whole portion for one jellyfish. You also get a little jar with little shells in it. How sweet is that? You can decorate a seaside theme. Um, I think I think what's really nice is when you put these little shells, say for example our seascape picture, it looks really nice to have them maybe scattered even for real on the beach. Absolutely um, really great idea. You get our royal blue which is a lovely ocean colour, gotta have this. These white spots by the way are from the pipe cleaner. They're made in the UK and these are little cotton, cotton off cuts that have obviously come off them. And then uh, this is an, one of our shimmer yarns and it's the blue green shimmer yarn. So you get a little bit of sparkle in the box as well, just like a sparkling watery surface. And then this is the pearl fiber that we've also put in our fairy box this month. And um, I shall show you how beautifully it mixes with wool. And that's all I need to make the jellyfish. In fact, I only need one pipe cleaner. Um, and there is another shell that comes in the box, which looks like this. So you've got a few uh, seaside decorations, um, yeah, just just everything that um, hopefully sort of transports you into, well, the time of the year, it's summer, it's nice, nice cooling water, it's hot sunshine, um, unless you are in, a, in the um, uh, in a different zone altogether and you're actually in the mid of winter, then um, look forward to all of this when your summer arrives. So the jellyfish itself, let's have a look, closer look at that as well. Um, here we go. It is a combination of all those fibers. You can probably spot them now. Um, and I will show you from beginning to end how to make it. It's super, super easy. I'm gonna have to really stretch this out a bit today because you can one of the, make one of these jellyfish in absolutely no time. So I will um, make this jellyfish in front of your eyes and um, we'll do lots of chatting today and um, and hopefully have a laugh or two as well. If you're watching this at any point later on on YouTube, um, it might be that the surprise box is completely out of the equation, but all I can say is you need a good amount of some um, whatever color bl um, wool, wool butts you want, because I think you could make amazing displays with these jellyfish. They're so quick and easy to make. Uh, you can make them in all colors you like. Imagine all rainbow color jellyfish. Um, and uh, you can make them in all sizes. There is no, there's no restriction as to what the size is. What I will say is I'm using all of this lovely wool for core wool as well, so what's inside. But if you have got some uh, core wool, and you don't want to use the nice colored wool, then use the core wool and make use of the rest of the beautiful color colors that you've got um, to put them outside. Right, I'm just gonna have a quick check-in on the chat again and then we um, launch straight into it. Uh, Ellie's is so cute. This is, this is not me, unfortunately. This is River the puppy. Um, Ashley says, welcome to the family. Oh, thank you. Um, gorgeous, says Fiona. What a gorgeous puppy and a beautiful name. Oh, thank you. I love the new puppy smell and puppy. Oh, puppy smells are just the best. I wish I could bottle it up and smell it at some time after. I love it. Puppy snuggles as well. Um, Diane says, hi, Steffi. I've just been watching you on Sewing Street. Love all your fairies and I think I have them all. Oh, bless you. That's amazing. So if you have missed it, Sewing Street, I've been on there today at 10 and at 12, but you can rewatch it anytime. They put it onto YouTube. It's on Facebook and you can watch it on the, um, I think you can watch it via their website as well. Now, all the products are still um, available to purchase online. And the reason why I'm saying that is because there are um, fairies on there that we don't stock anymore. So some of them are ancient fairies. They are the, um, namely the um, forget-me-not fairy, the pansy fairy and the poppy fairy. We haven't done these since, I want to say, since 2021. So you can get, um, get a catch up on uh, some of the fairies that you haven't had. Uh, why did... We did similar um, to my husband with our puppy. Well, she did it to the whole family, to all of us. And I think she was actually terrified, my daughter, because I've always said, we're not having any more dogs. We've already got three dogs. We're not any more pets. So she thought I would be really, really cross. But I honestly, I, it never even crossed my mind to be cross about it because as soon as I saw pictures, 
I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't wait to see this puppy. Um, Melissa says, when my partner saw River on screen, he said, wow, Steffi is in incredible at felting. Yeah, really lifelike, like, and they're mobile as well. <laughs> they move around, I wish. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, so we've got... Um, Ellie says, it was a kitten we did with Dad back in 2000. So this is not unique then. Um, she was being mistreated by the children in the house, but had been born new New Year's Day. Oh, that's a nice story to rescue a kitten. Um, uh, we've got Diane. Oh, I think I will have to buy this box as I won't be getting. Yes, yes. Don't leave us hanging there. You haven't finished the sentence. Julie says, my daughter is EpiPen allergic to jellyfish. So we love to give her allergy safe jelly wobblers. Love it. Oh, this is amazing. Um, oh, Jane said, I arrived as the puppy did. Oh, oh no, Lorna, you missed the puppy. Just go back to the beginning at the end of um, the stream. Had to make a cup of tea, says Lorna. Yes, that's a good reason to miss the puppy. And I'm going to the very end now. Um, I have all the fairy boxes, says Carol. Of course you do. I never doubted it. Okay, let's, um, let's get back to the jellyfish and let's make a start. So first of all, we're going to put all of this to one side. I actually loved Sewing Street today. It was so much fun. Um, and you're going to use one pipe cleaner and you're going to tease off. Now, if you're using, um, I would use the blue or um, the color, whatever color you use for the jellyfish, at least to wrap the pipe cleaner. If you are using um, a core wool, you can use um, that making the shape later. So first of all, you're going to start wrapping this pipe cleaner with a layer of wool, and it can be quite messy and generous, um, all the way from one end to the other, but do leave about um, two centimeters, maybe an inch, um, at one end. Now, wrapping wire, it, everybody does it differently. You can just keep going like this, or you can turn the whole thing round. You can go like this. The main thing is you keep the wool flat like a ribbon, and you let it um, sort of spread around in a in a in a flat strand. It's best to keep it so that you can actually control it. So don't let it get too broad. Um, but it, we're not felting this at all. We're just making a nice even layer. Or if it's messy, I wouldn't worry too much about it to go from one end all the way to the other. Now I'm turning this pipe cleaner around because I'm, I'm, I started at this end going that way, which means I've turned it, uh, I've wound it around in a certain direction. And I'm gonna um, want to continue in that same direction. You can see that the wool will actually split quite nicely into a strand if you get the grain of the wool running with you. So, last bit. Finish that off there. And it doesn't really, doesn't, I, I much rather it's loose but slightly thicker than uh, really, really uh, tightly felted onto there because we're making use of this loose wrapper of the wool so that we can um, felt into it later. Now this this needs to be closed up. The way that I do it, I cross the ends over like that and hook them into each other and then just secure the bits away. So they're now, it's now solid, it doesn't open. So not don't just wrap it around each other, but actually hook them into each other so that you've got like a, a construct like that. And then you wanna cover that part of the um, ring up and once you've done that, we're going to make um, the jelly sh jellyfish shape. There we go. And I'm going to get my felting mat out now. So I'm not felting this down at all. I've just got a, a blue ring ready for um, to receive the body. Now comes my felting mat. And I'm going to make a shape. Now, I can't remember how much wool I used on that jellyfish. I genuinely don't. So I'm going to make um, a random shape. And then if it's too small, I'm going to add more. And if it's too big, I'm going to felt it a bit more. So I'm going to wind this wool into a ball shape. I think that's about right. So you could almost, if you don't use all your nice blue wool, if you're making, um, if you have plans for it. 
Um, so I've wound it into a ball shape. Now it's not closed up, but I'm going to use my um, medium felting needle, which I'm keeping safe in my handy little um, magnetic needle case. By the way, we've got new new color of this one. So we had a teal color and now we've got a very pale teal color as well. Stub into the shape to secure it. If you've never needle felted before, then um, remember you go in and out in a straight line and with every little stub you make there is a shrinkage taking place. So that is what, what sort of causes these holes or these, indent, these dents. And if you stub long enough um, the shape will dramatically reduce in size, but it, it doesn't have to. So with a jellyfish, I'm keeping it actually relatively soft. I think this is such a quick project um, that it's it's perfect for making um, a large quantity of them. Now these tea water curls that we've had in our surprise box, this exact same color, we don't have um, we don't have online, but we have a very similar color. So um, don't be disheartened if you don't find this very same color. We have a very similar color and you can get um, more teeth water curls. Did you know, can you remember that you can make your own curls? So if you've got colorful tops, we have a tutorial that tells you how to make curls. And um, all you need to be able to do is you need to be able to wrap wool around a skewer like that or a knitting needle. Um, and you wrap it, and I will just show you this. Have I got some wool tops here? I've just I've seen some somewhere. I'll just have a look. Oh, I, I think I've got some tops. So ignore that they are not um, the color potentially, but use wool tops, and this is how you wrap them around the skewer. Slight diversion. Um, but we have got a proper tutorial, so hold on to it. Now, you remember what I said about wrapping wool flat around the wire. With this one, you're not doing that. With this one, you're actually holding on to the wool because you do want to get that twist. So it looks like you've just wrapped a string around the skewer. So it's a very different technique of wrapping. You can use this pearl top, by the way, that will work as well. And when you have um, wrapped all this round, secure the end, and then you make this wet, thoroughly wet, run it under water, squeeze it so all the water distributes all the way down to the skewer and then let it dry, let it thoroughly dry. Now I've always put mine in a in a very low heat fun oven just to speed it up a bit or um, at this time of the year you won't have radiators on but anything maybe on a, on a, on a warm sunlit windowsill or maybe put it outside. Anyway, be patient and then you've got to unwind it once you've done it. Now obviously this won't be, th this won't be curly because um, I haven't um, made it wet but you will have um, lovely little ringlets coming out of it and um, you can use those as tentacles instead that will save you a fortune I can tell you this now because this hand dyed teeth water curls they're not cheap but they have gone through an amazing um, process with um, somebody um, lovingly dyeing them well first of all picking them then hand washing them several times not just once probably two or three times and then they've got to, to be dyed as well and all nicely lined up and bunched up it is honestly it's a labor of love and um, and that is why they're um, they're not the cheapest um, fiber to buy anyway going back um, oh let's just have a little check in let's have a check in we need to stretch this out a bit because it is quite um, it's quite an easy make Oh, Gina says, oh, I missed the puppy. You can watch it again. Just go back to the beginning and you will see her. Hi, Laura. You'll have to rewind later to see the puppy. Oh, Laura missed it too. I did try and wait, but uh, River was here and she started to peep. So, um, some, uh, my Jack Russell had a haircut yesterday. He's gone from a 14-year-old man to a young puppy again. Wish I could have so many years knocked off my age with a simple haircut. <laughs> well, you need the full body shave, obviously, Rain. Um, not just not just your haircut. Um, Gina says, evening, Steffi and Fluff friends. Joining late as I almost forgot. Love watching you on Sewing Street today. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Gina. Um, I... Oh, I see. There won't. Uh, Diane has to buy this box because there won't be a fairy box. Well, there's a fairy box this month, but not next month. So, um, oh, let's let's have some news, shall we? Have some news. Let's have some news. Right. What can I tell you? So, first of all, next live streams. Let's do this first. Next week, 
I will be doing the um, Hessian bunting as you can see it behind me in a minute again and then it's already unboxing how is that even possible I just cannot believe it um, and by the way the date is wrong on there we're not unboxing on Thursday the 1st of July I need to tell um, my lovely colleague in the office that she's got the wrong date we are unboxing on the 4th of july which is the tuesday i believe anyway this is all confusing me now is that why is it all thursday no 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 none of those are thursday okay ignore the dates and the um i've no idea why it why it says thursday it's always tuesday at 6 30 so today is the 20th so that's correct the, the 27th is a tuesday not a thursday and then um, the 26th, there are 30 days, I think that it's Tuesday, I think it's th Tuesday the 4th of July if I remember from, um, so yes, so ignore ignore the, the, the dates but it is always a Tuesday. Moving on quickly, ah, we've got a cold tip, tit workshop coming up, a realistic, as realistic as can be. I have seen this bird for real and it is absolutely stunning. You will not be able to see anything more realistic, I'm absolutely certain. It is brilliant by Agnes who knows just how to do the legs and she's got um, some amazing techniques of get of getting this perfect feather. Um, I wonder if I can zoom this in, shall I try so you can see the bird a bit, bit better. Okay, this might be an experiment, I'll try. Let's zoom just the birds in. How is that? Isn't that amazing? Look. I'm just zooming the birds in, okay? Let's get really big. Let's look at that. Let's look at those two. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Look at those legs and that feather detail on the on the wing. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Anyway, same p artist, Agnes, is going to do the hair picture, which is a total beginner is only half a day and that is on the 29th of June and that is at the makers HQ which as, as is the, um, the little um, call tit but um, this is obviously very soon and we've only got um, two spaces left we will run the workshop we've got a, a, a you know we've got 80% filled but we have got a couple of spaces if you want to right whilst I'm at it the Advent Project. We haven't announced this really publicly and openly yet, yet, but if you are a member of our Everyone a Maker Facebook group, you will know that this is now available to pre-order. Now we do an Advent Project and we do an Advent Calendar. What is the difference? The Advent Calendar has individual little parcels that you, do, you open day by day leading up to Christmas, as you would expect with every Advent Calendar that you may have or may have had in the past. The Advent Project is a puzzle really because you're making different parts to complete a whole and this year and I so wish I could share photos with you because the 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 um the mystery christmas stocking is absolutely stunning and you uh, get bits you can I can't I don't want to say but basically you're building this stocking um but the the surprise is really in the detail and the decoration and how wonderful it will look it is a fully functional stocking it's a good size you can definitely put lots of stocking fillers in and uh, you can use it every year and bring it out as an heirloom um um, stocking. I think it's a really wonderful, wonderful project. So um, it has been designed by Colette and she has definitely, um, definitely gone all out on this one. Okay, I have a few other things off my sleeve, but um, I'm just going to go back to the jellyfish. Right, jellyfish. So I've got this, um, this shape now and I'm, I've got to fit it into my um, ring there, just like that. So you want it you want that ring to be lower rather than higher up and now you've got um, um, now you need to use some of the uh, wool to cover up the ring so just lay it over just over the pipe cleaner covered pipe cleaner and stab it in above it get really close to it because you're going to stab it into the the actual wool that you wrapped over the pipe cleaner and then stab it underneath it as well if you have a multi-tool, use that. It will um, make your life a little bit easier. Remember, I have kept mine quite soft, so not all multi-tools might work for this, but I definitely think that the Clover um, multi-tool will work, which of course I haven't got here at the moment. So yeah, no such luck. 
let's just try the seven needle tool just for fun mm, no see this is this is when they let you down because they only work on that brush mat if you're felting into a flat sheet just I, I knew that already but I just thought I'll give it another chance I uh, felt that down so that this whole shape the covered pipe cleaner and the um, the body of the jellyfish will become one so let's do that did anybody watch um, anybody else watch me today on sewing street it is a unusual um, I usually I have been on in the past at the weekends so Tuesday was an unusual one for me it just it always involves getting up really early because sewing street have got the morning slot and they share it with hobby maker which is on in the afternoon but um, the sewing street is all the soft textiles and to be honest I just it's such a lovely atmosphere being there and working with them and um, and, and and they're really yeah they're just really lovely I'm really enjoying working with them so remember to you can still watch it you can still buy the products from there and they and they actually I hate to say this but they're selling them ever so slightly cheaper than we do on our website so you do get a financial benefit buying from sewing street um, we had there the all um, we had the three owls the large owls so um, again that you get a slight um, advantage buying from them they're cheaper there um, you we had we had uh, Sean and Tatty Teddy there and even they are cheaper than directly from us so um, just 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 saying um, yes anyway have a look and um, if you want to rewatch the show there'll be some demo in there as well um, I made um, the pansy fairy from beginning to end if you if you're new to the fairies um, and haven't had sort of the benefit of the last couple of years of fairies you might not know that the first style fairies that I did were actually quite different they were a lot a lot bigger and uh, the technique used was um, slightly different as well so you might um, want to catch up on that um, so nearly there just this bit here and it, it's definitely recommended to use um, use your core wool but I thought I'd just use what we've got in the surprise box but if you have core wool use the core wool otherwise you'll be using way too much wool on um, on this project okay here we go and it doesn't need to be felted down very firmly or, or um, this is just the one layer then the top layer will come in a minute so I'm just using a medium needle at the moment you can take so much more care in felting this down um, it's it's really not that um, yeah it's really not that difficult to just spend a bit of time to just neaten this out I'm making this in a very fast fashion as usual so now you've got a um, sort of a, a, a domed shape with a, a definite uh, ring here that holds the shape and you can actually shape it um, a bit more round by just squeezing the pipe cleaner into into place so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to cover this up in this beautiful mix of um, the blue green shimmer and the uh, pearl fiber and then also a little bit of the blue that I've got left that's all the blue I've got left actually so I, I it will be less blue and more of this beautiful um, blue green shimmer now work in small quantities that's all I can ever suggest when you come to needle felting don't rush it there's no need just use small quantities now you're going to tease off some of this pearl fiber da -da -da -da, like that and then you're going to mix these three together watch how it magically they become a completely new look so you are pulling these fibers apart overlaying them and that what I love about this pearl fiber is that it's ever so ever so slightly crimps when you pull it and I love that because that gives such a beautiful um, textured look on this mix just watch how it it ever so slightly crimps which is why I think you can make it curly because it's already got that um, I, I think it wants to be curly it would be amazing to have a jellyfish with these pearl fibers as curls and um, just keep mixing it you can speed it up a bit if you feel confident enough and if you keep doing it this way you should get a nice length of um, of a batch here because you're now going to um, color in and you can mix this can you see how that um, that pearl fiber is actually becoming wavy 
Um, I really love that. Look, it's got a little, like a little curl in there, a little wave. It's lovely. And now you're going to use this, you can lengthen it by just tacking at it a bit, like this. And you're going to colour this in, literally, from top all the way down the side and round. You can stretch it out a bit because um, you can probably cover more area than you think you can and felt it down. So I'm felting it down at both ends first so that I know it's on and then I felt into it. Now what I will do is because um, jellyfish sometimes have these really sort of um, because they're so fluid they have uh, nothing nothing needs to be really very um, I don't know how, how can I say very firmly felt it down because you can create a sense of fluidity um, by keeping it loose but what I am doing is I'm stabbing in the direction of how I imagine um, it needs to be so from top to bottom or bottom to top whichever way round just stabbing this wool down but leaving it quite loose just allow this textured wool to stay in these sort of stripy stripy fluid tones and then unmix a little bit more so a bit of the pearl fiber a bit of this and a bit of that and make the next batch it's a bit boring to watch I know but it is but it works really well if you're being patient and if you're mixing this thoroughly so if you're struggling to mix it my first guess is that you've got too much uh, wool so split it and mix less um, if you're still struggling it might be that you're not putting the wool on um, top of each other and then always mix, pulling it in the same direction this is borderline too much I can just about cope with it um, so make another batch of this lovely mix I love it how these can you imagine needle felting with this and making sort of an ocean color sea um, are ama amazing that would be there would be so much movement in that water so you could use all of this for um, a, a 2d picture as well it would be so nice look at this isn't that lovely so nice so stretch this as well you might want to split it into two portions but in any case I'm going to cover quite a large area with this spread it from the top all the way round the side down to the base and felt it down and I'm still working with my medium needle I think the medium needle is a good one because it doesn't pull the fibers in too far um, so that uh, you get too much of a, um, a felt felting process going on and it um, it's just the right size to give that um, nice te surface texture and at the base I'm felting it down a little bit firmer because I need I need that to be almost a little bit hollowed out so I am actually felting it more firmly around the base only in the very center so that the outside slightly curve um, towards that dent but we c I can do more of that in a minute and I wonder if I get away with one more batch mixing I just think that pearl fiber is really amazing I can't believe how it sort of wants to curl up so last bit maybe a bit of that and a bit of that mix it all up again I'm going to do a bit of mixing while I talk to you um, and maybe look at some of your comments because I can mix without looking at it so let's have a look what um, what you guys are saying ah uh, gosh okay do I start at the bottom of the comments probably not a good idea um, oh, uh, Rosemary is only just joining got a new phone and I didn't get the reminder naughty phone um, Patricia is there hi Patricia you missed the puppy both of you better late than never I've been culling some garlic in my garden oh this is wild garlic I'm assuming um, I have to I can't actually mix because I've got to 
Um, Laura says, I can't afford to order this year's festive treats, but I have highly recommended them to others. Oh, bless you. Yes, well, we had to put the price up a little bit on the Advent project and the Advent calendar. We tried everything we could, honestly. If you knew how much work and how how much um, effort and um, thought, but also how much money gets spent on it, you would not hesitate to pay the price that we are offering it for. So, yes, it is it is a treat for yourself, but it's also a treat from us to you. Um, who else have we got here? Oh, somebody's asking what is, um, Corinna is asking what is Sewing Street? Sewing Street is a craft TV channel, that's right, in the UK. And uh, you can watch it on, oh gosh, I don't watch TV, on Freeview and Sky, I think. And um, it, you can also watch it on YouTube and on their Facebook page. So I will share the link um, at the end of um, the tutorial. I'll share everything that uh, you, need to, you need to know um, where to go and where to find it. Um, at the very end of it so it it doesn't it doesn't disturb the flow of the conversation but you can just check in at some point later if you want to and get um, and get the um, information from there right um, I love the first show but had to tape the second I will shall watch later ah oh, that's all right you can do that you can always also tape it does anyone know um, if Sewing Street have a video archive too early for from yes on on YouTube all of their shows stay on YouTube Terry you'll be able to find it no doubt um, Sharon says have recorded both of your shows on Sewing Street we'll watch them we'll catch with them up later nice thank you Sharon um, love the owls on Sewing Street thank you Rose Pansy Fairy was lovely really enjoyed that says Carol thank you um, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm reading the comments first before I spout them out loud. Is the pearl fiber available online? Can't remember if I've se seen it or not. No, is the answer. Sorry, Jane. But if you want some, we could maybe bring you some to the retreat. Um, making notes so I can make later. I can see myself making lots and suspending them from the ceiling. Wonderful idea. I want to see if you are making lots of jellyfish. Um, maybe you're adding to some of your aquatic... Um, makes that we have featured in the past such as the starfish we've had shells we've got the octopus the seahorses the narwhal narwhal is is actually was already um, a project <laughs> which I completely forgot I did it I very nearly listed it as an event on Facebook and then I thought why have I got three narwhals as a sample that seems a bit weird I probably have done this somehow and then I thought I better check on YouTube that I haven't done it already and I did honestly so you can um, I show you the narwhal so you you know what I'm talking about so this is the little narwhal that I actually thought I would make um, during the live stream but this is this is it so it's got pipe cleaners inside so that works really well um, and um, in the in the fin here as well so you can pose it you can have it going up or whichever way and then you could replace that light blue with um, the dark blue or the seashell shimmer um, it doesn't the eyes which are glue in eyes don't come in the box and instead of using what um, I've used here which is our um, uh, sparkly wool you can use the uh, the pearl wool um, to give that lustrous um, look so yes so the, there is a narwhal um, tutorial but if you have made any of the other um, any of the other sea creatures maybe the jellyfish can be displayed with them I know some of you have made act actually like um, aquariums obviously not with water but just um, yes just with with lots of sea life maybe maybe in a um, carton box and covered it all and um, with with um, I don't know whatever it's called whatever is in aquariums that sort of stuff um, plants and um, green backgrounds and blue whatever and um, and then you could um, could add the jellyfish in there hanging hanging uh, down and lots of them or make them smaller if you've only got a small space um, you don't have to make this big, right? I've very nearly finished this uh, particular um, covering up here now. And then I'm going to show you what happens next. So you will 
from the curls that you have got, I said that I've used all of them and I did, but before you attach them, you need to just split off a few because, I don't know if you noticed, but on the jellyfish that uh, are made, sometimes jellyfish have very large tentacles and sometimes they've got almost sort of li little paper thin, wispy mini tentacles. So I'm making both. We have the big ones and then we have some of the wispy thin ones and they're actually using some of the curls, but I'm mixing also the pearl fiber into it to give that sort of see-through effect or that um, yeah, slightly a slightly different um, texture right so I've got I've made a slight indentation here but this is the um, the top of the um, jellyfish it's got that real lovely movement and I think that sort of almost represents when they when they look like jelly hence the name so there's the curls um, you definitely want to keep them intact like this because that's how they're hanging down from the starfish um, jellyfish even and um, and I'm going to keep just one strand maybe this is enough um, or let's just keep those two um, to one side and um, what you do first of all is you do fasten this into the center so for this you probably want to use a coarse felting needle or maybe even a three felting tool something really robust that will fasten these curls on 100% and you felt them down from all directions so that they hang nice and straight uh, from the middle so you get the slightly um, felted part of the curls at the top and felt it really really solidly into the center of the underneath of the jellyfish um, don't be afraid to stab into it you really want to have these curls hanging very very free and not drop off um, so get them stuffed in there, right into the core, I'm going all the way in with this needle so that they're nice and firmly attached. And I'm going all the way around. So they're right in the center. And just by doing this, you've got, um, you can see, you've got your jellyfish almost complete there. And then the final thing is that you are going to use these curls and you're actually going to have to um, cut them short, short hair, because the little wispy bits of, of tentacles around the sides that are going on the outside are shorter. And for this, you need a, a small amount of the pearl fiber. And we're working in small, um, in small batches again. So use, use the fiber and mix it in with your curls. If you can't separate the curls at once, you need to split them sideways. You are destroying the curls that way, but you will keep a little bit of that wavy part of the curls in there. It just, it can't, it can't help itself. It will just stay there. But you want to wisp up the pearl fiber as well. So you want some wispy, wispy bits with, um, um, like that. And that part, then gets felted around the outside so when you do this make sure that you spread it so it's like a, it's almost like a curtain on the outside of the um, of the curls on the inside get off ah. there. and you just felt the ends down around the outside of the center part which is the the curly bit and when that hangs down, you've got this um, sort of effect of, of really wispy ten tentacles hanging around on the outside. So mix them in with the curls, have shorter curls for this, you might have to cut them. Split the curls open and then mix it with um, the um, pearl fiber. Try and get them mixed up a bit more than just hanging side by side and you can add more into it if you want to do this in small increments ag again. You want it to be really wispy. So almost, there was almost too much pearl fiber there. And then spread it out a bit sideways and again felt it down on the outside of the curly part 
and stuff that in well as well so you're not going right to the edge but you're definitely the next circle up from the inside and all of this will only become really effective once you can hang the um, the jellyfish up so that you you can see the tentacles hanging down whilst it's lying down and you can't really get that impression um, of what it's going to look like but these these bits here on the outside they look quite messy but they're meant to look messy there's there's nothing particularly tidy about a jellyfish um, so oh I had a jellyfish story didn't I I did um, so we, we went um, my husband and I years and years ago before we had children we went to um, a beach in um, I don't even want to say this because it sounds so so posh it had nothing nothing posh at all but we we went to a beach in in uh, Monte Carlo <laughs> oh I didn't want to say it but anyway went to a beach in Monte Carlo only because it was a company do and it was all paid for so there you have it and um, and we went in the the hotel we stayed at was very nice um, had a private beach of course and um, we went in there and my husband got stung by a jellyfish and it's like an acid burn and um, he he and I got the second lot of the of the sting, but it wasn't as um, wasn't as um, what's the word potent anymore. So we went out, and uh, literally straight after that, they closed the whole beach off. So um, yeah, it he had a scar from it. It was quite a quite a severe burn. It's literally like a burn. It just burns your skin. So when you get the wrong in contact with the wrong kind of jellyfish, um, it's it can be quite um, painful. Anyway, he's lived to tell the tale, so it wasn't as bad as that. Can you see now what I'm trying to do? So you have these almost, this, this almost feels too much, so I'm going to take that off. Um, take bits off, put bits on, do whatever you like. But once I'm going to the large camera and I'm just pinching the top, you can see that um, these, these extra bits is exactly what happens with um, jellyfish. So in theory, you will have two jellyfish if you're making what I'm doing um, double and I think they would look amazing if you had um, different colors different sizes hang them up high up low up let them sort of sway around in the sea as they are um, almost sort of going with with the tide and with the, uh, the stream um, stream in the water and I think it's a really lovely project to do maybe on a even on a, a summer's day because it oh, oh down goes the narwhal um it it does it does give um the summer vibes that you might be missing on holiday or whatever it's just making me happy looking at colorful lovely textured um items here right i've have i have another check in with the chat but before i do this i'm going to just um have a quick look what other things i can tell you about so um tatty teddy of course the kit is now available to order oh no it says pre-order ignore the big pre-order you can order it directly now i've put the um, wrong uh, poster up you can order that directly now now shown the sheep same order yours directly from us the uh, two-legged um, on two legs or on four legs whichever one you prefer or why not get both it is a really popular project we've had some amazing feedback if you don't if you don't believe it have a look on our website you will definitely see it now I've been talking about this and I have more details so I'm gonna tell you this now you will now be able to join the makers flock which is our new subscription um, on the 30th of June watch out for it and um, I love our makers flock logo there's gonna be so many exciting things happening um, I, I, I barely can wait and, and none of it is gonna be how can I say none of it is going to be big but it's going to be it's this it's the lots of small detail that makes all the difference which is exactly what we're known for it's all in the detail and that's what um, I'm still working on because I want to have all the details so that you know exactly what you're signing up for but I can tell you now that it will be um, the first year will be members only but if you are a member for one year you will become you will be elevated to a fellow and that m means you get extra benefits but you also get you have to pay less because we reward loyalty at the makers as you know um, so that's all uh, going to be launched on the 30th of June so watch out for that um, and then the um, we've got sort of penciled in briefly we will have a, a zoom get together 
um, on the 31st of July with all the people that have um, joined us if you've got if you're available obviously and um, and just um, have a, a, a what we call a flock gathering and there will be many of those whether they will be um, online and we could even do them face to face if we get this organized um, at certain shows just so that you can all meet up because you talk to each other a lot of the time and um, um, there's there's lots of um, lots of opportunities to meet and connect and um, and grow our ever-growing um, Makers family. Anyway, that's probably all I've got today. So as I said, last check-in into the chat and then um, I'll go and have my supper and have a puppy cuddle. Uh, just making the turtle so we'll make a jellyfish to go with him. Why didn't I think of that? Turtle jellyfish? That's perfect. Throw in a few uh, uh, seashell fairies and you've got your complete ocean theme already. I have now crowded fe uh, crowded felted aquarium. Need to extend this, Lorna. I knew there was somebody here who has got a, um, a felted aquarium. So it's you. That's amazing. I put my mermaid, starfish, octopus, seahorse and shells on a base with strong pipe cleaners and dressed as, as coral. That's such a good idea, Carol. So you basically just have them all um, propped up with a pipe cleaner. Is that what you're saying? I think um, that sounds really good. Um, and please do share that with us on every one of Maker Carol. Do post a photo and um, and, and share it with us. Um, I agree, Rosemary, we want to see it. Uh, Diane says, loved the Seaside subscription box, but I've still not made the octopus as I'm a little frightened of them. Yeah, I, I think... Um, until I saw uh, snippets of that amazing film um, about an octopus, I think we completely underestimate octopuses and uh, octo octopuses, octopi. No, you don't say that. Um, what is the plural of octopus? I think it's octopuses. Anyway, um, I'm sure somebody will put me right if I'm wrong. Um, I think they're just very intelligent creatures. I certainly, certainly, certainly wouldn't uh, now even consider having one past my lips. Yes. Anyway not we don't need to talk about that undersea diorama a jellyfish will go well with that absolutely um thank you carol for posting a picture if those of you who are watching on youtube oh yes i just want to say something else those of who are watching right now live please give us a like i know there's so many of you and i look back at the video and i get like and we have like 10 or 15 likes give us a like right this very minute just thumbs up, give us a like. Um, yeah, let's have that. And um, um, that is definitely something you can do. And if you are on on um, watching this on YouTube, then uh, do give us a thumbs up as well and subscribe to our channel so that um, you don't miss out on anything that we're putting on the channel. Um, we've got many, many things in the pipeline and I can't wait to uh, tell you all more about it. But um, yeah, definitely thumbs up on on. Um, so I don't know if I can see this on here, how many of you have liked this particular. Yes, we look, we, we've only got 28 thumbs up and there's been over 40, up to 50 people watching at any point. So, and 170 comments so far. So what, up, up with the thumbs, come on, come on, you can do it. It's really, really easy. Just click on that little thumb thing. Um, super ideas, thank you, says, uh, Steffi says Diane. They're very dreamy looking. Thank you, Steffi. Yes, they are a bit, aren't they? They're quite elusive, but that's what they're like in the water, I suppose, when they just sway around. Can't wait to make some curls, then finish my jellyfish. I'm going to make all sorts of colors and hang them from my office. Want to see a photo, Melissa? You can't tease us like that. Please do show us photos. I want to see them all. Um, Excellent. Wonderful. Every, everybody's saying lovely things. Diane um, says, Oh, the Maker's Flock. Yippee. Uh, sounds interesting, says Gina. Ah, uh, puppy, cu puppy cuddles, of course. Um, enjoy your puppy cuddle, I will, says Ola. Thank you, Steffi and team. Well, thank you all. And I'm going to just go now because there's hundreds of comments still coming in. So um, thank you, everybody. You've been, as always, a wonderful audience to talk to. And um, I can't wait to see you next week when we will be making uh, this here behind me. Am I, am I going completely off track? Yes. That one there, the the bunting. That's what I'm pointing at, in case you couldn't tell. Um, and uh, we'll do this together next week. That was a free tutorial on our last month's newsletter. 
So take care, everybody, and um, and enjoy whatever weather, whatever you've got planned. Um, definitely make some plans because if you've got something to look forward to, that is always a good thing. Something to look forward to. Live in the presence, have something to look forward to, and don't worry about the past. That's what I um, aspire to. So hopefully you can all join me. See you soon. Lots of love. Bye-bye.